Good afternoon, children. This is your GK and Conversation textbook, and we will open to page number two seven twenty seven. Page number two seven twenty seven. And before we begin, let us write today's date. Today's date is one nine nineteen slash. One, nineteenth January. Very good, children. Now listen very attentively. All right, children. Yes, I will all ask you some small questions. Now tell me. After a good night's sleep, when do you wake up? When do you wake up the next morning? Do you wake up early, or you get up a little later, or do you get up in the afternoon? Come on, tell me first. Very good. Now you are at home, so maybe you are getting up, waking up a little later. Then what do you do after you wake up? What do you do? You run to the kitchen. You're hungry. You start eating. No. Then what do you do when you wake up? You clean your mouth. You brush your teeth, right? You have your bath, and then you have your breakfast. Very good. Then what do you do? You go to play. You play with your toys, yes. Some open their books and study. They look at the pictures in your textbook, yes. Very good, children. What do you do next? Now your stomach is full. You have played a lot. Some of you must have done your homework and studies. Then what do you do? You are running up and down all over the house, right? Are you troubling your mummy? No. Very good. You are a big children now. Then what do you do? We have a lot of activities at home. Maybe some are drawing, some are coloring. Some are playing again, right? So in our full day, we do a lot of things, right, children? In the whole day, from the time we wake up till the time we sleep, we do lots of activities. We do lot of activities, right, children? Yes. Now these activities help us to move our body, to keep our body fit and healthy. Now, children, after a good night sleep, right? After a good night sleep, good night sleep means sleeping early. Sleeping early. Not at one o'clock or two o'clock in the night. That is not a good night sleep, right, children? That is a lazy sleep. Children must sleep at at least by ten o'clock, right? Yes. No seeing mobiles for too long. Then you become lazy, children. Yes. Right. When you go to bed early, you have a good night's sleep. Your body is resting very nicely, which helps you to wake up early in the morning. When you get a good night's sleep. After the whole day's work, jumping, running, playing, writing, 
our body gets tired our body gets tired and it needs rest if you don't give your body rest your body will become sick and tired and start paining so for that you need a good sleep you need a good sleep all the people who sleep by 10 o'clock in the night wake up early in the morning very fresh because their body has got good rest and it is ready again for the new day to work for a new day with many more activities what you did yesterday more than that you can run more than that you can jump when your body is fresh and healthy right so wake up early in the morning after you wake up we cannot run directly to the kitchen to have your breakfast because there are germs playing in your mouth during the night they all come out in your mouth so you need to clean your mouth and then we need to brush our teeth then we have bath and we are ready for the breakfast but before having your breakfast you need to tell god right you need to tell god thank you why why you need to tell god thank you my mummy is working for me my daddy is working for me my grandparents are working for me they are taking care of me right my elder sister my elder brother is taking care of me so why am i telling thank you to god why because god gives strength to my mummy to my daddy to my grandparents to my elder brother and sister to look after me right if my mummy is not having strength and she is sick who will look after me nobody i will not get yummy breakfast and yummy lunch and yummy dinner right so to keep my mummy daddy healthy to keep my family members healthy and happy as a family we need to say thank you to god we need to say thank you to god because he is taking care of my parents my mummy and daddy my mummy and daddy in return take care of me because i am small i cannot do things on my own i cannot prepare my breakfast my mummy is doing that so i must say thank you to god for giving me beautiful and lovely parents and family then my mummy has made yummy food for me which i will enjoy but who has given me that food my god has given me he is giving strength to the farmer he is giving strength to the farmer to work and grow food for you right to grow wheat rice and other food items for you to enjoy now we do not know which farmer has grown the wheat you are eating the chapati of right we don't know so for that you need to say thank you to god because god knows who is the farmer right so when you say thank you to god god blesses your family and your food keeps you and your family happy and healthy so we need to thank god early in the morning as you brush your teeth have your bath and you are ready for the day you first pray to god saying thank you god 
for a new day for the new sun you have given for the lovely nature you have given for the lovely trees the birds i can hear in early in the morning for my parents for my mummy who has cooked nice breakfast for me for my grandparents they are taking care of me right so say thank you to god in a prayer so always after you have done with cleaning your body you pray to god you join your hands close your eyes stand in front of your altar your god and you pray right say thank you so we pray to god now after having a clean bath do i wear the clothes of last night do i wear the same dirty clothes which i wore yesterday no 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 there are many many germs on that and if we have to wear those dirty clothes again why do have a bath right we are clean we have had a healthy bath with soap and water and there for we wear clean clothes at the start of the day you need to wear clean clothes you need to wear clean clothes then only you look fresh and your body is also very happy you will start dancing and jumping and running saying yay today i have worn a new dress a clean dress not new dress every day but a clean washed dress right children yes when you wear clean clothes you feel fresh your body feels fresh and not lazy you are happy the whole day and if you're going to school you have to wear a clean washed uniform with clean socks and shoes right you will feel very happy and fresh as you enter the school with your clean uniform so when you have your bath and you are feeling fresh after that you need to wear clean clothes right children very good then what to do now we are wearing clean clothes and we are ready for our breakfast right but before the breakfast we need to make our body ready for the day we need to make our body ready for the day because now your body is become a bit lazy after waking up in the morning and not doing any activity so to get your body ready for the day and for all the food you are going to eat you need to shake your body a little by doing exercise by doing exercise you can stretch your arms you can hop a little jump a little right you need to get your body ready for the day and for all the food you are going to eat right so for that you need to do exercise every day see these small children are also getting ready for the day by doing simple exercise right i send you some small videos of exercise of some simple dance steps right we should exercise as we dance or maybe we can dance as we exercise so see those videos and try doing the actions so your body gets warmed up and ready for the new day which also helps to keep your body healthy right and also to digest the food we are eating digest means what we are eating should help our body right not to make our body sick 
for that you need to exercise your body you need to do simple exercise right children now your body is ready after a nice exercise a few jumps a few stretching and skipping and now you need to go to your breakfast table you need to go to your breakfast table and now my body is fresh and ready so how should i go walking to my breakfast table how should i go should i go bending my back like an old woman or a old man they are tired of working for so many years so they become a little old and they bend and walk but you are young small children you need to stand and sit erect you need to stand and sit erect erect means to keep your back bone straight when you are sitting no bending like this no sitting with a curved back this is wrong way and not good for your backbone right you should always stand erect erect means in a straight posture your body should be straight not bending down not your shoulders are falling down then you feel lazy then you feel lazy but now i have done nice exercise so i am fresh so walk straight and also sit straight for straight we use the word erect right so always stand or sit erect without bending down very good and now you are at your breakfast table after doing your exercise you have walked to your breakfast table and now you are sitting erect with your backbone straight ready for your breakfast and you start eating pizza burger ice cream chocolates for your breakfast oh no 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 you cannot start your day with pizzas and burgers right our breakfast should be simple and healthy not heavy because the whole night when you are sleeping your stomach is empty if you eat pizzas and burgers early in the morning your stomach will get upset your stomach will feel sad right because nothing is there and now you are putting all heavy things your stomach cannot carry heavy things early in the morning so your breakfast should be simple and healthy always eat healthy food all right children always eat healthy food healthy food means chapatis for breakfast fruits or some porridge you can have for your breakfast it should be healthy and simple not too heavy for your stomach because your stomach is also getting ready we made our bodies ready for the day by doing exercise now we need to make our stomach ready for all the food we are going to eat the whole day whole day as you are playing you keep on feeling hungry so you might sometimes in the middle eat chips and biscuits and chocolates are continuous so your stomach needs strength to take all that junk food right so before you start your day start eating healthy food first then your stomach is ready to fight with the pizzas and burgers and chocolates and cakes you are going to eat so first you need to eat healthy food to make your stomach strong to fight with the junk food right very good and then what um i have had my breakfast and then 
I go to play, I do my studies and some other activities. Now, for those who have school in the morning, after the breakfast, they go to their school. But for us, our school be is in the afternoon. So, we have our lunch. The food we eat in the morning, early in the morning, the first food we eat is called the breakfast. And then in the afternoon, we have rice, dal or some chicken curry. That is called lunch. That is called lunch. And then the food we eat in the night is called dinner. Is called dinner. So, in the afternoon, we have our lunch and then we go to school. Now, my school begins at 2 o'clock. Right? Am I right? Yes, you must have forgotten by now. But our school starts at 2 o'clock. Now, when the school time is 2 o'clock, can I go to school at 2.30 after the time? After the bell has rung, can I enter my school? No. Very bad habit. Very bad habit of going to school after the bell. You should go to school on time. You should go to school on time. Means you should be in school before 2 o'clock. Before the school bell rings, you should be in your classroom. You should be in your classroom. Not after the bell has rung or not after the teacher has already started with the prayer and with the studies. You cannot enter the school after the given time, after the bell rings. Right? It is a very bad habit. It shows that you are very lazy. No, we are not lazy. We are good children. And so, we go to school on time in our clean school uniform. Right, children? So, always go to school on time. Very good. Now, in school, we play, we dance, we learn to read and write, to tell stories and many more activities. And sometimes... Our teacher gives us small homework to practice at home. What we have learnt in our classrooms today, teacher tells us to practice at home also, which is called homework, which is called homework, which has to be done at home. Because if homework is not given, you will forget what teacher has taught today in the class right because you go home and again you are fresh and again you start playing and you are busy in your own work you may forget what teacher has done today so she gives you a small homework to practice what we have learned in our school today so you have to do our homework every day teacher gives you little homework you know you have to do it every day don't say i will do my homework tomorrow i will do my homework in the morning i will do my homework in the night no keep a fixed time to study and do your homework it keeps your mind fresh right children you have to be neat and clean when you are doing your homework. Keep your books neat and clean. Don't turn these pages. Right? Don't turn these pages like that. And very important, don't turn your pages like this or like this. Right? See the fold? It looks very dirty. You always open your book picking up the Page. You pick up the page from the top end and then you turn over. Right? Now some children, they are very quick. They just turn, 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 which makes their books dirty 
and also untidy. It looks very untidy. Right, children? Yes. So, remember, when you have to turn your page, pick up the top end of the page and then you turn. You will have no folds. Right? So, be neat and clean in your work. Now, we have done our homework. Every day, we are doing our homework on time. And then, it is time for us to have our dinner in the night. And then, after dinner, you wait for 10-15 minutes. Right? Soon after having your dinner, having your chapati or rice or whatever your mommy has cooked, you eat and you go to bed to sleep. No, your stomach will start paining again. Right? You cannot do that. So, eat your food on time. Have your dinner on time. So, when you have your dinner, you have some time to rest, sit down or have a walk. And after 20 to 30 minutes, you go to bed. You go to bed. Now, children... If you have your food at 10 o'clock, you will go to sleep at 12 o'clock in the night, which is not good. So, to go to sleep at 10 o'clock at night, you need to have your food at least by 8.30 to 9 o'clock, right? Because soon after having our food, we cannot sleep. We need to keep some time in between. So, have your food early and then you go to bed early at night. Now, some of you see mobiles for a nice long time and then you sleep late and then your body is still tired because your body has not got that rest that my body needs. You are troubling your body, right? So, to give our body a good night's sleep, we need to go to the bed early at night. So our body is again fresh to wake up early in the morning and again start our day with all these habits. Right? Have your food early, go to bed early so that you wake up early in the morning and continue with these good habits and continue with all these good habits all these habits of going to bed early waking up early praying to god keeping ourselves clean you're wearing clean clothes you're exercising your body making it ready for a new day you are standing and sitting erect straight you are keeping your stomach healthy by eating healthy food you go to school on time you do your work on time right you do your homework on time you study very nicely and this helps you in following good habits all these are called good habits right children so you also have to become good like these children and it is Possible only when you follow these habits of eating healthy, of standing straight, of doing your work on time, sleeping early and waking up early in the morning. So we have to follow all these good habits every day. You cannot say, oh today I woke up early in the morning mummy, tomorrow I will get up late. No, then you are troubling your body. So, make it a habit to follow these good habits every day. Every day you have to wake up early in the morning and do all these good habits. You have to follow. Follow means to do these good habits. Follow means to do all these good habits. Right, children? So, we have one question here. Let us see. What good habits should we follow? Now, come on, tell me, children. 
वॉट गुड हैबिट्स शुड वी फॉलो टू लिव अ हेल्दी लाइफ to be healthy fit and fine what good habits should we follow come on and tell me one by one we should wake up early in the morning pray to god wear clean clothes do exercise day every day always stand or sit erect eat healthy food go to school on time do our homework every day and go to bed early at night so these are good habits that we should follow now once let us repeat these good habits together you will repeat after me right today we have learned about good habits so our topic for today is lesson number 24 good habits our lesson was about good habits what we have to do to keep ourselves healthy right now let's repeat after me right wake up early in the morning let's repeat wake up early in the morning very good and after cleaning yourselves having bath brushing your teeth and we you are ready for the day you need to say thank you to god by saying a prayer so pray to god let's repeat pray to god very good next wear clean clothes let's repeat wear clean clothes very good do exercise every day let's repeat do exercise every day next always stand or sit erect let's repeat always stand or sit erect very good next eat healthy food let's repeat eat healthy food go to school on time let's repeat go to school on time very good next do our homework every day let's repeat do our homework every day very good and the last good habit of the day is go to bed early at night let's repeat go to bed early at night see in the clock it is 10 o'clock it is 10 o'clock and this boy has gone to sleep right and because he is sleeping by 10 o'clock he is waking early in the morning right and he is also following all these good habits like you all right children so a question what good habits should we follow answer we should wake up early in the morning pray to god wear clean clothes do exercise every day 
Always stand or sit erect. Eat healthy food. Go to school on time. Do our homework every day. And go to bed early at night. This is your answer for this question. Alright children. Hope you will also follow all these good habits every day. Without missing a day to keep yourselves healthy fresh and active so you need to read these sentences learn them and also the answer for the question all right children thank you